It is the 26th of the 3rd, 2012. And this is today's climate change update. Looks like I've been taking the weekends off and uh, enjoying things here at home pretty well, so uh, don't expect uh, weekend reports from New Bureau Magic. Um, few and far between. I'm enjoying it while I can. Let's go and get started over on SOT.net. Drought in Mexico expected to persist for years causing food and water shortages, and they are in extreme conditions in northern Mexico, along with Texas, New Mexico. Severe drought in Mexico has cost farmers more than a billion dollars in crop loss alone and set back the national cattle herd for years. It's just foresight of the drier future facing Latin America's second largest economy. And uh, yeah, they go into the crisis and how they're having to tank uh, truck water to these remote towns and uh, people are suffering from this drought severely. Mysterious unexplained booms in Alabama, Georgia, and Wisconsin. In separate events, mysterious booms shook residents of Alabama, Georgia, and Wisconsin. So far, government activities, earthquakes, and sonic booms are ruled out. Uh, and then they go into the story. Um, and they just heard a boom out of nowhere kind of thing. And uh, a lot of this has been going on. been hearing noise reports from all over the world. Um, from strange humming sounds in Ireland. Um, just, just the insanity. And we don't know exactly what's going on with that. And that's about all I want to cover off of there tonight. Over to the Extinction Protocol. Batu Tara Volcano. In Lesser Sunda Islands of Indonesia erupts. This is an uninhabited um, island. It's just a small volcanic island with the volcano in the middle, and it's uh, just yet another volcano erupting. And intensification of, act of activity at Mexico's, uh, that big volcano near Me uh, Mexico City. 33 emission events in 24 hours. Uh, this volcano is definitely gearing up as we've been witnessing over the last few weeks, for sure. And uh, they're doing drills and the like. 7.1 magnitude earthquake strikes near uh, Mall, Chile. And uh, it's a very seismically active zone. Um, some pretty big earthquakes coming out of Chile. And of course, uh, yeah, this big, there was some damages. 4.9 magnitude earthquake rattles Hawaii's Big Island. Many people from the Big Island to Oahu felt a magnitude 4.9 earthquake Saturday morning. The quake struck a little after 10.45 a.m. Centered just west of Honamu in East Hawaii at the depth of 27 miles. Now, there's no reports of major damages or injuries. Um, which is pretty crazy out there in the middle of Pacific, a big 4.9 earthquake. More war drums, and that's about all new they have going on tonight. Over to the RSOE quick. Um, got a forest fire in New Mexico in the Chimeo area. Flash flooding in the state of California, San Fernando Valley. Flooding reports coming out of Canada, of course. Uh, Providence, the province of New Brunswick in the St. John's River areas. And in Ontario, um, around the Fort Albany area. And that's about all new they got going on tonight. So let's go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff, e, &E News TV interview. Do you believe TEPCO is ready to run nuclear plants? TEPCO, after 20 seconds of total silence. That's a difficult question, quote unquote. Gunderson's latest, Think About Ramifications for Tokyo. How would you like kneeling in radioactive waste to pick flowers? Cobalt 60 and majority of samples, up to 1,481 becquerels per kilogram. And of course they have videos and this is all over the net if you're not paying attention to Arnie Gunderson. Uh, he's about the one voice uh, we can listen to half the time. And he's toning it down as not to make people panic. German TV, Armageddon if spent fuel pool number four collapses and melts down, uh, could change the world, that is an understatement, it already is. Most likely consequences is that reactors one, two, three, five, and six get out of control uh, because 
if 4 collapses, it'll be so radioactive there, there won't be any way they can cool down the other reactors and that kind of thing. And how they're promoting this industry as safe still to this day is beyond me. It's a crime against humanity. Fairwind's president's farm in Portland stopped producing food after radiation detected Portland, Oregon. Very frightening what, what has happened on the West Coast, and we've told you over and over again, this fallout is extreme. And all that heavy snow and, and precipitation you've had this past few months, all radioactive. Japan's top nuclear official freezes when questioned. Remains motionless for over a minute, and they've got a video of that. Uh, these guys can't hide the truth anymore, and they're straight up lying to us. Another quake hits Fukushima, uh, again an unstable area, 5.2, and radiation doses triple at Tokyo Monitoring Post early Sunday morning, uh, doubles at another, and they're saying about 12.30 a.m. local time, uh, the radiation detectors went haywire because the, the, the radioactivity tripled in Tokyo and, and uh, doubled in other areas. Official scuffle with audience members. Entire government to be mobilized for OI nuke plant restart. Strong likelihood Japan couldn't have no nuclear reactors in operation if local officials don't approve. The mayor clearly opposes the restart, and I don't blame them one little bit. Hydrogen levels quadruple at reactor number two, Fukushima Daiichi in the last two weeks. Something very, very wrong is going on in number two. And of course the ghost ship. 150 foot boats lost in tsunami now just miles from North America. First confirmed large piece of debris to cross the ocean. Uh, Canada was still monitoring the boat on Friday evening for the maritime pollution. Uh, they have notified the owners apparently this was a squid fishing boat. Uh, that broke loose during the tsunami and it's made its way over here. Uh, looks like it's had a hell of a journey. How much plutonium made Hartford waste untreatable? This is the new um, decontamination plant there, spending billions and billions of dollars. World's most expensive construction project having nuclear chain reaction worries. They're saying they're not being, they're not going to be able to. Uh, uh, clean up mm, some of this debris because it's just way too radioactive and they're waiting for new technologies to be developed uh, to take care of this problem safely. Insanity. And they still keep dumping billions and billions of dollars into this. And that's about all I want to cover there today. Over to the Fukushima Diary. Radiation level picked up through the west throughout the western Japan. Of course, this is translated stories. Um, this is the story where it said uh, it got as high as three times right around um, midnight local time. Fukushima worker assumes melted fuel has gone into suppression chamber. I'm, I'm pretty confident it's gone beyond. Uh, they really don't know where the fuel is. Um, and again, more radiation molecules leaked into domestic sewage system, which gets drained into the rivers, which ends up in the oceans. And, uh... Oh. And, uh, yeah. Stories go on and on. So, enjoy what we can, everybody. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thanks.